Greetings. As we begin a new school year at St. Joseph's Catholic Secondary School, whether you're at home, in the classroom, or online, we wish to extend a warm welcome from all of us at St. Mary's Parish. We know that this school year is unlike any other that's gone before. And we gather, we recognize that we cannot gather as we normally would in previous years. But we want to assure you that we remain close to your school community and to all families who are remembered in prayer. We're pleased to welcome our new associate pastor, Father Neomal Silva. Father Neomal came to St. Mary's at the end of the summer at when Father Jeremias was assigned to St. Michael's Cathedral in downtown Toronto. And so as we begin this new school year, we begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, your wisdom is beyond our understanding, yet it is revealed to us in the love of Jesus, your Son. Bless these daughters and sons of yours who have answered your call to grow in faith at St. Joseph's School. As we approach the coming school year with uncertainty, remove our fears and give us courage. Open our eyes that we may see your presence each day. Open our ears that we may hear your voice in unexpected places. Open our minds that we may understand the mystery of your love and open our hearts that we may grow in likeness to the mind of Christ. Amen. Let us listen attentively to God's word. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so let us turn to God who hears our prayers. For all students eager to learn and discover new ideas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all teachers ready to share knowledge with patience and joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our administrators, support staff, and all who are working to keep our schools open and safe places for learning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us in confidence pray to God using the words that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of all life, you call us by name to follow you. Give us the strength to follow you ever more closely, day by day and to help others to follow you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Amen. The church has been open for public masses since the end of June. and We have markings now on the pews and stickers on the floor to help us meet physical distancing requirements. And while we do not sing while we're in church, there is music and we answer and respond to all the prayers. Our Life Team Youth Ministry will continue to meet physically distanced in person beginning after Thanksgiving. We will continue to meet on Sundays following the 4 p.m. Mass. We will also continue to have our EDGE Ministry for our elementary school brothers and sisters, and if you are interested in helping, please contact us. We are still awaiting information from the Archdiocese on the process for celebrating confirmation 
with our young people who were nearing the completion of their preparation. When we have details, we will share them with you. In November, we will hold parent information meetings to prepare to celebrate sacraments during the Easter season of 2021. If you wish to prepare for the sacrament of confirmation or any of the other sacraments of initiation, please attend these meetings. The meetings will be held here at the church. You are encouraged to check our bulletin, our parish website, our Facebook page regularly for updates on parish events as well as information surrounding the celebration of sacraments. As we move forward, we commit from St. Mary's Parish to communicating and finding new ways to remain connected to St. Joseph Secondary School, working with Mrs. Jeffrey Price, our chaplain, and Mr. Timmons, our principal. We strive to find new ways to remain connected during this time of the pandemic. And as we conclude, we want to use a prayer that was written by the Right Reverend Richard Bott, the moderator of the United Church in Canada. A prayer as I put on my mask. Creator, as I prepare to go into the world, help me to see the sacrament in the wearing of this cloth. Let it be an outward sign of an inward grace, a tangible and visible way of living. Love for my neighbors as I love myself. Christ, since my lips will be covered, uncover my heart, that people will see my smile in the crinkles around my eyes. Since my voice may be muffled, help me to speak clearly, not only with my words, but with my actions. Holy Spirit, as the elastic touches my ears, Remind me to listen carefully and full of care to all those I meet. May this simple piece of cloth be shield and banner, and each breath that it holds be filled with your love. In the name of love, I pray. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.